Welcome to Spirit Mysteries. You've just entered into a sacred space, a community, a library, a digital temple designed as a home for your transformation and the spiritual evolution of the collective human consciousness. As you enter into this environment, we ask that you open your mind and heart. There will be many lessons along this journey and many profound opportunities for personal development. Some will be easy and others perhaps more challenging. But know this, the magnitude of challenges we face in life is equal to the heights in which we are capable of rising. Much of humanity is entrenched in its suffering. And this actually is a beautiful thing for it means we are rich with the potential of learning profound lessons, experiencing transformation and descending into a more purified consciousness. No matter where you are in your journey, whether you are just beginning a spiritual path or you are eager to acquire your next set of spiritual tools, trust that you are in the right place and that what is available to you here and now is designed to support you in your healing, transformation and growth. It is vital for you to know where we are coming from in the creation and stewardship of spirit mysteries. The following represents the principles that we strive to embody our core values. Radical authenticity. We are committed to honesty and integrity, speaking to both the hard truths as well as the realities we desire to manifest on the new earth. We embrace open, loving and transparent communication. Authenticity is freedom from the illusion of fear and alignment to the reality of love. Intrinsic interconnectedness. We perceive the interconnectedness of everything that we are creating and doing and therefore embrace a collaboration mindset. We honor the sacredness of our creation, the creation of others and all of creation. Alone, we can do so little. Together, we can do so much. Fearless creativity. We make amazing things and inspire others to do the same. Through the embodiment of our childish innocence and embracing of fun, we dream the most significant dreams possible. Creativity is the power to connect the seemingly unconnected. Unconditional compassion. We are receptive to all points of view, reverently giving and receiving guidance when there is an opportunity. We hold loving and supportive space for others going through their journey and to support them in preserving balance and peace. We believe that everyone feels fairly compensated for their contributions when they align with their life's purpose. A human being is a part of the whole called by us universe, a part limited in time and space. He experiences himself, his thoughts and feelings as something separated from the rest, a kind of optical delusion of his consciousness. This delusion is a kind of prison for us, restricting us to our desires and affection for a few persons nearest to us. Our task must be to free ourselves from this prison by widening our circle of compassion to embrace all living creatures and the whole of nature in its beauty. Transformational global vision. We recognize and embrace our role in collective evolution and do so with exponential growth, a phi mindset and a focus on healing ourselves and the earth. We embrace the inherent power of nature and her fruits to rejuvenate and inspire and are therefore reciprocally environmentally conscious of how our thoughts and actions affect the earth and our brothers and sisters everywhere. If it's not good for everyone, it's no good for all. You may be familiar with the hermetic wisdom as above, so below, which describes that everything that is happening in the physical dimension corresponds and correlates with reality in both higher and lower aspects. We believe that nothing is outside of this and that all things are connected and one. As we wake up to the truth that everything is spiritual, we discover that even things that we often don't see as spiritual, such as politics or money, all have their place in the eternal oneness. By recognizing this within ourselves and in the world, that everything is spiritual, we give ourselves permission to open up the doors of exploration within us and dive into the more profound mysteries of life. In the Emerald Tablets, Thoth describes that every human being is a light surrounded by night, but that the darkness is only a veil. If we can nurture and cultivate the light within us, we can cast off the dark of night. In doing so, we lift ourselves into the state of eternal oneness, a higher reality, free of the limitations that have shackled us in density. This is done by following our hearts and devoting ourselves to our spiritual practices. It also happens through a commitment to learning, growing and identifying both our egos and other forces that keep us stuck in life and resolve them appropriately. As you may be feeling, humanity is at a turning point. 
At this moment around the world, millions of people are waking up to a higher truth about their nature, who we are and what this life is all about. There are a great many mysteries of life and the nature of consciousness. And these are things that are going to be explored until eternity's end. However, at this moment, we are at the beginning of a spiritual renaissance, a new beginning for humanity, one wherein peace will reign supreme and truth, love and authenticity will be known as the law above all others. This is the purpose of spirit mysteries to facilitate the evolution of consciousness, to serve as a sacred home and space for this reality to come to manifest. If we do nothing, if we do not engage with our growth, then we won't be able to participate in our benevolent evolution. And not only will things stay the same for us, but they will worsen. As the famous passage goes, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is that good people do nothing. But a great key is this. We need not worry about having to change the world. The world will shift and change as a result of us changing ourselves. We need only to turn our light inward, shine the light on the things that we indeed are, and strive to embody the highest version of us. By doing so, we step into a new frequency, a new paradigm of being, and those around us will feel this and see it in our actions, and then they will be inspired to shift as a result. This is how we truly change the world and what the nature of the ancient mysteries were all about. As above, so below. As within, so without. Several thousand years ago, the mystery schools were a massive part of life until they were almost entirely eradicated by the Holy Roman Empire in about 300 AD. These schools were very similar to what Spirit Mysteries is today, sacred spaces for initiation into the inner mysteries and a space for community, for connection, for learning, and most of all, for the transformation of the mundane into the sacred within us. Changing the world is a beautiful idea. With all of the suffering in life, a world of peace, happiness, and prosperity seems like a lofty vision and a nearly impossible task to make it happen. So how do we do it? As we previously explored, we create a transformation of consciousness by working with ourselves. This transforms the mundane into the sacred. And honoring of what is sacred is one of the foundational aspects of creating healing and transformation in life. This is even built into the essence of spirit mysteries. And so even if you have no other experience with sacred in your life, treat this place as a sacred space. We must acknowledge that another aspect of this is how to transmute fear and other negative vibrations when they come up. Allow me a moment to share a quote with you from the Gospel of Thomas, an early Gnostic text that was recently recovered in the Nag Hammadi library. In this passage, Jesus says, seek and you will be troubled, be troubled and you will be astonished, be astonished and you will rule over all things. This passage explains that there will be things that trigger you from time to time along your journey of discovery, not just in spirit mysteries, but in all of life. The great secret is to recognize that it is the fear within you that causes you to be troubled and that by allowing yourself to go deeper and explore why you are troubled, you will unlock powerful revelations within you. A perfect example of this is the tarot card called the devil. Some people who are uninitiated into the tarot and on a more orthodox spiritual path, many Christians run into this challenge, see the card, the devil, and immediately become concerned that the tarot must be evil because the devil himself is hiding in the cards. This is the being troubled stage that is described by Jesus in that passage. However, the more you explore the nature of the card, allowing yourself to be with the feelings without judgment, you discover profound truths and you become astonished. What the devil truly represents is an aspect of us that throws ourselves to our senseless passions, as well as an invitation asking, how high do you want to climb? You will learn more about that in Tarot Life Mastery and the Patch Tarot Masters course. As the passage ends, be astonished and you will rule over all things. This can be interpreted that as you continue to face your fears and sink more into the profound lessons, fear is transmuted into loving awareness. You have more power and authority over your sovereign nature as a result. You have dissolved the fear and become more than you were before. As we discussed in the previous part, it's important to remember that everything is spiritual. And so this lesson applies to everything. It's easy to get stuck on ideas like money isn't spiritual or politics aren't spiritual. And perhaps these things have been devoid of spiritual wisdom and love in the world, but that does not mean that they are not a part of the greater whole. It merely means we must dive deep into what its essential nature is and create a transformation of awareness within us 
that can impact and change the world around us in a meaningful way. You are at the forefront of a massive online spiritual community, one that will be instrumental in helping to bring more peace, love, and hope into this world. For this, we thank you. It's because of you that this place can exist at all. To begin your journey into spirit mysteries, we highly recommend two specific experiences, the 12D Shield and the Seven Day Transformation. The 12D Shield Workshop is a special presentation and meditation that will support you in clearing your energy field from negativity and lower frequencies. It will supercharge you with light right off the bat. The seven day transformation is a little bit longer, taking one full week to complete, but will help you go even more in depth, realigning you with your soul and getting you on track to make a considerable positive change in your life. I also especially recommend watching Tarot Life Mastery. TLM is the first complete workshop that we ever produced for Spirit Mysteries, which contains over 12 hours of content and tons for you to work on and get started with. If you watched all of it before Patch Tarot Masters, you'd take your education in tarot and the mystic arts to a whole new level and set yourself up for great success when you do begin Patch Tarot Masters. And finally, just remember, you've got this. You are at the beginning of a massive transformation in your life. Feel this in your heart, take a deep breath and sink into the revelations to come. Peace, love, and blessings eternal. And we hope to see you engaging with the Spirit family soon.